Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video, we'll see how to extract emails from Outlook into Excel using VBA macros. And for that, we need, of course, to have Microsoft Outlook installed and configured with an email account, and it should be open while running the macro. Then we will extract information for each email in a particular folder, for example, in the inbox, and we will get the data here, for example, the receive time, the sender name, the subject, the body as text, and, and we can get several other properties. So let's see how to do that. I'm gonna call this extract mail from Outlook, of course. And we're gonna add the Microsoft Outlook object library going to tools, references, here it is. And then we can declare our Outlook application object variable as a new outlook.application. And then we need to declare a namespace object variable. I'm going to get to that in a moment. Let's call it out namespace as a namespace. And then we're going to have a folder. So out folder as a folder. That's the target folder where we want to extract the emails from. And then we'll get each email or rather each item in that folder into another variable. I'm going to call it out item as an object. And in most cases, we will have just emails, but we could have other types of items in that folder. We could also have meet invites or we could have a mail delivery notifications such as this one here, for example. So we want to get all the items and then I will show you how we can just target only emails or emails and meet invites and so on. Now we're gonna set the namespace as the Outlook application dot get namespace for MAPI, and that's the messaging API for Microsoft Windows. Then we can use our namespace object to set a folder, and that's gonna be out folder as our namespace object, get default folder, and we're gonna get the folder inbox. As you see, we could actually target any other folder in Microsoft Outlook. Uh, we have the calendars folder, the contacts, and so on. But we're gonna get the emails, the incoming emails, which are in the inbox or in other subfolders. So we're gonna target the inbox. And if we want to target a specific subfolder inside the inbox or any other default folder, we would, we would just continue here with folders and then the name of the other folder. For example, if we had another folder. Right? This would be the case if we want to target, for example, not just the emails in the inbox, but only the emails in this other folder here. Right? But let's say we want to target all of the emails in the inbox. So I'm going to keep just that. And now we can look for each out item in the out folder dot items. And items should be mostly emails, but as I explained earlier, there could be also meeting files or, or some other types of items. If we want to target only the emails, we could have a condition here saying if type name of the out item is a mail item, then we can proceed to get information from that email. But I'm going to put that in another variable. Let's call it out mail. And that's going to be out item. Only, of course, when the type is a mail item. And, and I'm actually going to declare here out mail as a mail item. Or let me actually put that in a separate line so that you see everything on the screen. We're going to use a variable as a row counter. And now we can add, for example, in column A, row R. The email received time. In column B, we could have the sender name. In column C, we can have the subject. And in column D, we can have the email body. And as you see, we could get any other properties here. For example, the recipients in CC or any other. But let's have this for now as an example and end the if statement here and move to the next item. Now, as we have headers in row one, we want to start in row two. So let's simply add here r equals one. And if we run the macro, we're gonna get, as you see here, 
all the emails are starting from the first email and the first one I received when I set up the account was the welcoming message from Microsoft. That's that huge body here. But as you see, we get the date, the sender name, the subject and the body for the different emails. I have here some test emails sent by myself, emails sent by other uh, users or subscribers from Excel Micromania and, and so on. But now if we want to have only emails from a certain period, for example, we would need to add another condition here saying, for example, if outmail dot receive time, uh, you know, whatever date you want to have here in US format, so May 1st, 2023, that would only get those emails. Then we will close the if statement here. So that's that's another possibility to just target certain emails. You could also target only unread emails, for example. So unread equals true, then that would only get the unread emails. And you can use several other properties to just target certain emails. So that's how we extract emails from Outlook with Excel VBA. Thanks for watching.